sick of these masks. Yeah. You glad to be out, though? Yeah, thanks, Dad. Can we go to the zoo tomorrow? Ha <laughs> ha! At least you can laugh about it. See you back, then. Hey, don't. He's been through a lot. What of? Jack Daniels? No, he's not been drinking recently. Uh, can he speak for himself? Does he need you working him from behind? Simon's been struggling. OK, you can't just go off and leave your kid in his own like that. What were you thinking? I was thinking that I might not be here much longer, Carla. I've been in hospital because I was vomiting blood. They gave me surgery to stop the bleeding. And now it looks like my liver's packing in. But apart from that, I'm fine. So how was your Christmas? Are you sure you shouldn't still be in hospital? They discharged me. I'm on more pills than the Happy Mondays were, mind you. You look terrible. Thanks. There is no definite article. It's not the Happy Mondays. It's just Happy Mondays. I'll make you some lunch. No, no, I'm not hungry. It's all right. You go, I'll make it. No. You don't live here anymore. Do you remember? It's all right. Just go. I don't need either of you. I do have to pick Bertie up. Is anybody listening to me? Hello? I'll call you later. But this is serious. I always knew you were going to catch up with me one day. Why haven't you told me? How could you keep this from me? Look, no offence. No, actually, I do mean this to be offensive. We're not a thing anymore. You saw to that. So my health problems are not your concern, and I don't want you here. So you can go. OK? Go meet your son, eh? You watch Tell Simon. Peter, your son, you know, that lives with you. I'll tell him before I leave. Leave where? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going away with your dad for a couple of days to Scotland. Oh, so. yeah, because now's the perfect time to go on holiday. Carla, I need a bit of space. Do you understand that? From me. When are you going? Tonight. Uh, an alcoholic and a woman with a history of mental health problems. No surprise we keep ending up here, eh? Peter, I want to move back in. <laughs> You're a glutton for punishment, I'll say that for you. No, I'm not. I want to help you. I'm not putting you through it. Not this time, no. I don't care. I love you. Well, maybe you're the one who needs help, then. Peter, you're only going to get better if you let people look after you. Listen, I I, I want to look after you. Let me. You're only saying that because you feel guilty about no. cheating on me, yes. But it's OK. When I was in hospital, I had a lot of time to think, and I'll be honest with you. I could have done without it being Adam. That was a kick in the teeth. But I have brought all this on myself. All of it. No, it was my fault. You're forgiven, OK? I give you, what's it called? Absolution. I give you absolution. I'd have made a good priest, wouldn't I? A whiskey priest, but... Can't have everything. You think this is funny? You're not listening to what I'm saying. I forgive you. I'm letting you go. I don't want to go. I want to stay here and help you get better. What makes you think I will get better? Of course you will. No, there's no guarantee. I've got to wait at least three months, and in that time, I can't touch a drop of alcohol for them to test my liver function. Then, if it's getting worse, my only option might be a liver transplant, and there's a waiting list for that, so... I've been selfish all my life, but even I'm not that selfish to put you through all that. You sound like you're just giving up. No, not on life. Just us. No. I'm going to move back in here. I am going to help you get better. Please, Peter. 
No. It's too late. Sorry. His liver's failing. Could die. I didn't tell you that. Simon doesn't even know yet. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't feel sorry for me. I'm the one that put him back on the bills, aren't I? Well, technically speaking, Peter only started drinking alcohol again after being the victim of a mugging. So if anyone is responsible, it's... No, it was me. I was fed up with him. I was fed up of living like that, you know, going round in endless circles. It's just exhausting. You know what they say in meetings? Goodness knows I've been to most of his meetings with him. They say you, you, you get drunk at someone. You know, it's about anger. And I know it wasn't really his fault that he fell off the wagon this time, but I was so angry. I just, I really wanted to hurt him. And that's why I slept with Adam. Well, I've heard him all right, haven't I? Probably killed him. You didn't make Peter start drinking any more than you can make him stop. Well, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But you're wrong. Peter dies. It's... It's down to me. <laughs> 